With the Supreme Court poised to overturn Roe v. Wade, abortion rights is set to take center stage in the midterm elections later this year. Well, and welcome back to the program. LaFonza Butler, president of Emily's List, one of the most powerful women's interest groups in the country that works to uh, elect uh, women to Congress who are pro-abortion rights. Uh, Ma'am, thank you so much for being here with us again. Can, can we start with what we're seeing, I guess, in, in the streets and in the, on the, really the front doorstep to some of the Supreme Court uh, justices right now? Uh, what do you think about what we're seeing and the tone these are protests, but we're also hearing that uh, some of the security has been stepped up and that threats have increased uh, here in recent weeks. Um, what do you think uh, about the idea of the protests that we're seeing and the tone that some of this is taking? Well, thanks so much, TJ, you and Amy, for, for having me back to talk about such an incredibly important topic to the American people. Uh, I think it's important that we are clear about what's really happening here. You know, people are angry about the rights that they've enjoyed uh, for generation uh, being rolled back. They're also angry about being lied to uh, during confirmation hearings. And I think, you know, of course, Emily's List condones any violence uh, or violent behavior uh, at these protests. Um, but I think it's um, important to note that the way that folks are showing up right now is um, a reflection of what is um, happening as their rights are being threatened to be taken away. Uh, we want to make sure that we at Emily's List are working to empower voters across the country to to stand up and protect those rights, to have their voices heard at the ballot box uh, in these midterm elections. Alfonso, we heard from Vice President Kamala Harris uh, at an Emily List gala shortly after that draft opinion was published. Um, let's take a look to what she, what she had to say. If the court overturns Roe v. Wade, it will be a direct assault on freedom, on the fundamental right of self-determination to which all Americans are entitled. So yes, specifically this draft opinion focuses on Roe v. Wade, but the concern is that it could set precedents that other rights could be taken away. What rights are we talking about? You know, Amy, I can't think of a right more fundamental than the right to make choices about one's own body. Uh, the underlying opin uh, opinions that were referenced uh, in the draft opinion that was dropped on, on Monday definitely point to other rights being at risk. And we're not sure what may be next, but what we know is that the opinion is, uh, is likely to open doors uh, to other rights being threatened. And what we've got to do and what Emily's List is really focused on is making sure that we elect Democratic pro-choice women up and down the ballot um, because at our in our states it matters in Washington it matters and uh, the vice president I think noted well um, that there is there's a lot at stake. LaFonza do you have any hope that all this uh, the debate we're having now some of the protest and the public pressure is going to have or could potentially have any influence on getting some of the justices to change their opinion from the draft we have seen to the final opinion? You know, TJ, the Republican Party has made it pretty clear uh, since the passage of Roe, their intention to roll back these rights. The um, actions in Republican controlled state legislatures, the actions to um, get these justices uh, on the bench, I think gives us the indication that they are clear uh, about the direction that they are headed. That power and control over women's rights to make choices about their own bodies is power that they don't want women to have. And I am not convinced uh, that the opinion is going to change. I am convinced, though, that the American people stand in favor of protecting these rights. They stand in favor of um, the p protections that are enshrined in Roe. And I think that they're going to show up and make their voices heard this November. And, and speaking to the elections, I know that Emily's List is one of three groups set to spend $150 million towards electing the officials you'd like to see put in office. How is that money put into use? Amy, what we intend to do, uh, Emily's List has joined uh, with NARAL as well as uh, Planned Parenthood Action Fund to make sure that voters know who's standing with them 
uh, in their support of protecting fundamental rights for women to make decisions about their own bodies and access to abortion care. We're going to make sure that voters know who's standing with them and who, frankly, is promoting national abortion bans. We're going to make sure that they understand who is rolling back uh, rights to access to the ballot uh, and who is who wants to expand uh, democracy and make sure that it is at reach for everyone. And so that we are excited to be working together to focus on organizing, getting information out, and making sure that people know exactly, even though the voting rules have changed, uh, we, that they know exactly how to access their ballot and take action. President of EMILY's List, LaFonza Butler, we appreciate your time. Thank you for being on the show again. Thank you so much for having me. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.